Welcome, welcome. To celebrate Fancy Farm, I have a special poem for Hillary. How doth Hillary hate us? Let me count the ways. From the Ohio to the bluegrass, she cannot wait to harass. She'll send the IRS and the EPA, killing our jobs and our take-home pay. She says she'll bankrupt coal. She says she'll make us pay. She tells us with a smirk, she'll put our miners out of work. So today I have a message for her lackeys and her cronies. Kentucky is tired of all you phonies. Well, I see Allison didn't make it this year. God love her, she could never make her mind up. Did she or didn't she vote for Barack Obama? I, I wonder if this means she hasn't made her mind up in the Senate race. Fortunately, Democrats have a candidate this year who is absolutely supporting that he supports Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. If Allison were here, I'm sure she would advise Jim to avoid mentioning his love of Obama. Jim, don't listen. Please feel free to talk about your admiration for Obama all day long. Now, Jim's been shopping for a job in politics since 1998. His plan A is to be paid as the mayor of Lexington despite a gaping hole downtown. His plan B is to run for Senate at the same time. Sounds like a career politician to me. Now people are curious. They wonder how could Mayor Gray have left this gaping hole downtown for nearly a decade. I heard the real reason that the big hole is still there, why he stopped work on the big hole, because he heard there was coal in it. According to a new poll, Hillary has lost most of her support in Kentucky. It seems to have gone because of her viewpoint on coal, but there's still debate as to whether she lost these supporters or accidentally deleted them from her email. Have you ever wondered what advice Hillary might give Jim Gray? If you want to know, just ask the Russians. You know, Jim and Allison and the whole bunch are now willing to admit they support Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. It's even more important now that we know their true purpose, what they really stand for, we must defend ourselves against the supporters of Hillary Clinton. The Clintons are to corruption what Capone was to crime. With her secret emailer, she put our national security at risk. She used her position as Secretary of State to enrich herself. The Clintons stuffed their pockets with money, your money. Supporters of Clinton need to apologize to the 15,000 Kentucky coal workers they put out of business. Supporters of Clinton need to apologize to the farmers for letting the federal government force their way onto our farms. America's defense begins at the border. We absolutely must defend our borders.